New at 6 tonight, things are moving very quickly in an area now known as Lithium Valley near the Salton Sea. As News Channel 3 morning anchor Angela Chen shows us tonight in her special report, White Gold Rush, a lot is happening that you may not see on the surface. Yes, if you drive along Highway 111 all the way down to the Salton Sea, you'll see your usual puffs of white steam chugging up from the geothermal plants. But below those white clouds, underneath that soil, some groundbreaking developments in the world of lithium and tech. As these companies get closer to mass production, get ready for some big changes to come to the area. In this desolate field of dirt and dust, the air is still as far as the eye can see. Work is not easy to come by here near the Salton Sea, but for Corbin Dillon, a life-changing opportunity in a place that doesn't have much to offer. Seeing the deficits of, of housing we have, yeah. the, the deficits of places to eat. Dillon was selected to intern at Berkshire Hathaway Energy, a geothermal and lithium development company near the sea. He's enrolled in a special program at Imperial Valley College. Training for the day, the lithium plants open their doors. I didn't come in with my dress shoes, I actually came in with my running shoes ready to do this. Once these plants going up, I, I really have a high hopes for, you know, my, myself. He is one of hundreds here by the sea, finding hope, diving into a career in lithium development, an industry that's expected to transform this impoverished region. Education is the key uh, to getting people out of poverty, and there's been a strong emphasis on making sure the educational infrastructure is being developed and prepared to move into the phase of really preparing the people to take on these jobs. From the ground, you can't see much, but raise your expectations a bit and you'll see it's full steam ahead as lithium carbonate is collected below ground. This is a critical opportunity to bring back manufacturing, uh, to bring back uh, what would be thousands of jobs in an area in which align with California's climate and energy goals and objectives. The area south of Salton Sea in Imperial County is called Lithium Valley. White gold is materializing and the major lithium development companies out here, Berkshire Hathaway, Energy Source and Controlled Thermal Resources or CTR are chugging along their proposed timelines. When we last checked in 2021, Berkshire Hathaway had said if this were a baseball game, they were only in the first inning. But now in 2024. Yeah, I'd say we're closer to third inning now, so we've definitely made some progress. However, I can say confidently we have a winning team. BHG Renewables owns 10 of the 11 geothermal plants in the region. The company has the potential to produce up to 90,000 metric tons of lithium carbonate equivalent per year. That's enough to supply 11 million electric vehicle batteries. We are currently in a demonstration phase, and that is a smaller scale than commercial phase. It allows us to test a number of things to make sure we have successful outcomes before we move to mass production or commercial scale. And in its latest development, Berkshire Hathaway has partnered with Occidental to utilize their Terra Lithium technology to extract lithium from brine. For CTR, the heavy hitters are finally getting flown in. We just got back from Japan and um, about to take delivery of uh, our steam turbines and generators from uh, Fuji Electric. The timelines for these three companies look somewhat similar. For BHE and CTR, the rest of 2024 and in 2025, it's about proving they can scale up and creating a successful demonstration plant. By 2026, if all goes according to plan, they will scale up and begin to produce lithium on a mass level. What you'll start to see now from probably around September onwards, uh, some delivery of big heavy, like I mentioned, you know, 300 tonnes here and 20 there and, you know, lots of, a lot of work. I mean, these are a big Lego set. CTR has said salaries will start at around 80,000, but the first to produce lithium will likely be Energy Source. The company is starting construction for mass production next year. The Salton Sea area alone has the estimated potential to provide 40% of the lithium used by the world. Lithium, used in electric vehicles, cell phones, and more, holds incredible opportunity in an area that has been lied to before. 
we're all crossing our fingers and hoping that, you know, this great stuff comes about with higher income, you know, and, and all these tax tax breaks which actually do come back to help us. We've had a lot of, you know, promises and broken promises from other industries. Assemblymember Garcia says he has worked hard to make sure as these companies profit, so do the surrounding towns. 100% of the tax that will be collected on the lithium that is recovered will be reinvested back into the community, not only to address the salt and sea problems, but also to address the infrastructure needs of the region. For the locals, it means jobs, housing development, economic growth, and possible generational change. Dylan says it's all for his kids. Being able to tell them, yes, I'll be at that game. Yes, I'll be able to provide for you. To, it's a great feeling and tremendous uh, relief on my shoulders because I know with the, all this positivity coming, it makes me confident enough to know my future is going to be brighter, not just for myself, but generations to come. Lithium development is such a source of hope for the communities around the Salton Sea. For us here in the Coachella Valley, it could mean new industries created here to help with the supply chain. They're envisioning manufacturing, logistics, even food and more to help support the bustling industry to come. In the studio, Angela Chen, News Channel 3. And the process of developing lithium is unique to the Salton Sea area. Here's how lithium will be extracted out there. Brine is produced from the rocks deep underground. That brine is then separated into steam and concentrated brine. The steam powers a turbine, which is what geothermal energy is. As the leftover steam is returned to the ground, part of the brine and steam are, challen are channeled to a facility to produce lithium carbonate, which helps fuel electric cars, our cell phones, laptops, and more.